Hey guys, it's Matt. I have now finished all of the Boise Grand Slam peaks. So here is my hiking, I guess, guide slash summary of the four Grand Slam peaks. I did all of these peaks in the winter, fall, or spring to avoid the summer heat. So here's my breakdown of all of them. If you watch my videos and you like them, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Well, let's get into it. The first one I did is Serva Day. I did this in the winter and we had a pretty good snowstorm come through while we were at the top. So I didn't get many views from the summit of Serva Day, but from what I hear, it has the best views. This one is short and steep. There's no switchbacks, so you're gonna wanna have your trekking poles. The next one I did was Kepros and I was very ill prepared for this one. There was snow on the ground that we were post holing through, tripping, we were soaking wet. I should have brought snowshoes, I should have brought ice spikes, but I didn't bring anything. But ultimately the sunrise and snow made this my favorite in terms of views. I couldn't feel my hands and feet pretty much this entire hike. Doing this one without the snow would have made it much easier, but I don't think it would have been that pretty. The next one I did was Lucky Peak, also known as Shaw Mountain. There's two routes to this one. There's one that goes up by the mine, and then there's just the road. I took the road. I wanted to do it in the evening, so I can get views of the city of Boise at night and see the city lights. So that turned out really cool. Um, you do have a pretty good view of Boise. I actually like these views better than Table Rock at night, but there's not really a clear trailhead. So you just kind of either start by the archery range or drive up to wherever you want to start and then start from there. Um, this one I think would be kind of boring, honestly, but we ran into a huge sheep herd there were probably hundreds if not thousands of them and so that was kind of a cool unexpected surprise to that one. So lastly is Mount Heinen and that by far was the hardest hike out of all of them. I thought Heinen was harder than all the other ones combined but maybe I was just out of shape. The sun and the heat came on quick and I also was not prepared in the terms of having enough water and I had to bump some off my buddy. The first two miles of Mount Heinen are straight up. Get to the top of where you think is you're going to catch a break. You're not. You're just going over all these different false peaks and then eventually you'll get to Mount Heinen but it is a butt kicker. It destroyed my legs. The hike down is just as bad with how steep it is and there's lots of loose sand and rock and I actually turned around and hiked down it backwards because it was faster than baby step baby stepping down it the normal way so trekking poles was a must on that one too my Apple watch on that one said that I burned 3,000 calories I would not describe Mount Heinen as a fun hike it definitely is more of a challenge or a workout type activity. With that being said, here are a few tips if you're going to be hiking the Boise Grand Slam. First big one for me is do it in colder weather. Um, you don't have to do it in the snow like I did it, but you have to be mindful there is no shade anywhere on any of these peaks. There's a little bit on Heinen, but not enough to really make that big of a difference. So you are completely exposed to the sun all day. Also, doing it in colder weather, you're not going to deal with snakes as much, bugs as much, or overgrown brush and stuff, getting thorns in your socks. The other point is I'm used to hiking trails that have plenty of water, so I could just stop at a stream and fill up. There is no water access on any of these, so everything that you need, you need to bring with you. And on Mount Heinen, I actually completely ran out of water right at the summit, and like I said, I had to use some off a of buddy, which I didn't like. So make sure you bring plenty of water, more than you think you need on all of these. 
gear wise the most important thing that you can bring uh, if you do the Grand Slam are trekking poles. So most steep hikes in Idaho are going to have switchbacks and that kind of breaks up the steepness. This is just kind of run down carved out trails up the ridge lines and with it being sand and gravel and everything you really got to have that extra support to get you up. You can do it without them but it's going to be a lot harder and those really really help on the way down too. Also gear wise make sure that you have good trail running shoes or hiking boots something along those lines. Um, you need the traction going up the steep hills. So I do recommend doing them in order from easiest to hardest. For me that was easiest being Servaday, then Lucky Peak, then Kepros, then Heinen. Um, Heinen is the last to have the snow melt so naturally you'll do the hardest one last. Um, doing them in order will kind of condition you for harder hikes later this summer anyways. And all the trailheads from my knowledge are free to park at. You don't need a truck, you can get to them by car perfectly fine. There's no fees, there's no limits, there's no time that you can't do it. Um, I think that there's some camping restrictions but honestly they're all just pretty cut and dry day hikes anyway. If there's anything that you'd like to add, please leave it in the comments. If you watch my videos, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, you can click this circle thing on the screen to subscribe or the red button below. I also have all of the Grand Slam Peaks posted in a playlist here. And you can find the other Idaho hikes on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. Later.